Welcome to our quick summary series. This is a quick fire summary video. For a longer, more detailed explanation, head over to reviseitright.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our 10 minutes a day daily revision, uploaded every day. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a like. You need to know how different acids react with different compounds. Let's take a look at how they react with metal oxides. You have to remember that an acid plus metal oxide makes salt plus water. We also need to know how to name these salts. There are a few rules. Hydrochloric acids make chlorides, sulfuric acids make sulfates, and nitric acids make nitrates. Let's go through a worked example. Hydrochloric acid plus copper oxide makes what? Well, we know when an acid reacts with a metal oxide, it makes salt and water. We need to know the name of the salt. It's hydrochloric acid, as you can see here. And we know that a hydrochloric acid makes a chloride. Get the first part of the name for this chloride from the metal. It's a copper that we're reacting it with. So it's hydrochloric acid plus copper oxide makes copper chloride plus water. Let's do another one. Nitric acid plus copper oxide makes what? Again, we know that an acid reacts with a metal oxide to make salt plus water. We need to name this salt. It's a nitric acid, as you can see in the question here. And if we look at our rules, a nitric acid makes a nitrate. Get the first part of the nitrate from the metal. It's copper oxide. So nitric acid plus copper oxide makes copper nitrate plus water. You need to know how acids react with different compounds. Reactions with metal hydroxides are acid plus metal hydroxide to salt plus water. Let's go through a worked example. Nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide makes what? We know when an acid reacts with a metal hydroxide, it makes salt and water. We need to name the salt. It's a nitric acid. And therefore, it's going to make a nitrate. Again, we need to get the first part of this nitrate from the metal. It's sodium hydroxide. So it's nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide makes sodium nitrate plus water. Let's do another one. Sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide makes what? Again, step one, we know that an acid reacts with a metal hydro hydroxide to make salt and water. We need to name the salt. It's a sulfuric acid, as you can see here, and they make sulfate. Again, we need to get the name of this sulfate from the met metal that's been reacted, from the metal hydroxide. It's sodium. So the answer is sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide makes sodium sulfate plus water. We also need to know how acids react with metal carbonate. An acid plus metal carbonate makes salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Let's go through an example. Nitric acid plus sodium carbonate makes what? We know that when an acid reacts with a metal carbonate, it makes a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. We need to name this salt. If we're using a nitric acid, and therefore it's going to make a nitrate. We need to get the first part of the name for this nitrate from the metal. It's sodium carbonate. So the answer would be nitric acid plus sodium carbonate makes sodium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. You have now learnt how to name salts and how acids react with metal oxides, metal hydroxides and metal carbonate. You will find a summary of this information below. Make sure you test yourself using the quiz on reviseitright.com.
Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our 10 minutes a day daily revision uploaded every day. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. We are super excited here on reviseitright.com about the launch of our brand new website. I just wanted to quickly take you through some of the amazing features on our site. Here you can make a profile just like you can on other social media websites, but this one is all about revision, the very first of its kind. You can write in questions here, for example, so can someone help me with the function of bile? You can post it and one of our tutors or another member of the community will get back to you. We're really excited about the revision community we can make here. If you go to the learn part, here you can have access to text, videos and quizzes from all the topics you will need in GCSE Science. You'll have access to all the summary videos that we have on YouTube, but also much longer videos that aren't available on YouTube that go into real detail on each topic. We will also have daily and weekly revision challenges for each biology, chemistry and physics, new challenges each day. And this will link in with the leaderboard so you can compare how you're doing to how everyone else is doing. And really excitingly, you can also book extremely cheap group and private revision classes with one of our tutors. We'll be updating the website all the time. So head on over to reviseitright.com and sign up for a free account today.